What's going on everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. Welcome to my Atlanta Season 1 Episode 6 spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me about two minutes to recap, but then give you my pros, cons, and final score. Thanks so much for joining me. So we begin this episode with Vanessa and her friend going out to dinner. Now, Vanessa's friend is very stuck up. Uh, you know, the arguments start to pursue, and then she, she has this blind date uh, coming for Vanessa, and it's like, I did not sign up for this, so she ends up bailing out, and uh, they meet in the parking lot again. She ends up riding with her friend again, and uh, they smoke weed, you know, whatever, man. Let's have some fun, like the teenage days, smoking weed, uh, doing the doobies. Uh, the Devil's Cabbage, isn't that what they call it, the Devil's Cabbage? Uh, so there's a drug test the next day, and she's a teacher, so yeah, <laughs> sucks, man. Uh, she wakes up, she's like, oh, test, fucking drug test today. Uh, so anyway, she's drinking Powerade, that doesn't help. Uh, Ern is with the baby, and she ends up peeing in a condom, or she takes her baby's pee, puts it in a condom, and then she like wraps it up around her leg. Uh, the pee ends up exploding when she's at school in her face and she is fired and at the end we see a kid with just like white paint on him and his white face, he looks like a rape smile. Don't know what that's about, but still, it's uh, freaking hilarious. Now on to the pros and cons. First off, every single episode of Atlanta has great writing, great directing, and great acting. The actress who played Vanessa did a great job with her real-time reactions. For some reason, I absolutely love the opening. I love when shows do that where, you know, I was thinking that, you know, I expected Donald Glover in this episode. I expected Paperboy or Darius. I expected something wild. But hell, Vanessa is a fun character. This episode definitely shows it more of a wild side. Uh, and, and with the opening... It's kind of a, a scene where you're like, okay, this is a little slow, this is a little slow. Interesting, but that's the best thing about Atlanta. Like I told you, the writing, the directing, but the, the writing with the dialogue, not only story-wise, but the way that the dialogue is done. Almost like the awkward moments that FX is known for, like Louie and Better Things. It was absolutely genius, whoever had the idea, to have her have a drug test the next day. Especially the principal's reaction, you know, because she knows where Vanessa's coming from. I think the principal even said, I smoke weed too. But, but it, it's all that, where she's like, well, you told me you smoked weed, you know, a, a substance, so I'm going to have to fire you. Yeah, that, uh, again, genius moves within the storytelling. And then the random kid at the end with all the white paint on his face doing his best rape face to Vanessa. Uh, I, again, it's awkward, it's weird, maybe a little racist, but it's funny as hell. And that's what I love about Atlanta so much. Donald Glover did an awesome job. I mean, this ain't the final episode, but I'm wrong, there's like four or five episodes after this. But the way that it was constructed, the way the characters are done, the way the directing is, the cinematography, the look, the HD beauty to it, how gritty and fun it is, and how real the world is. It's real. It's real. Because I believe Don Glover actually grew up in Atlanta, and I've seen Facebook posts from people who live in Atlanta and said, thank you for actually, sh you know, showing the world this is how Atlanta is, the real Atlanta. And I'm very happy that he actually, you know, went straight from the heart and, you know, went deep. And he's not, he's not covering, he's not sugarcoating, he's actually showing you the rawness of Atlanta. Uh, anyway, I'm glad we got to see Vanessa. You know, over the next few episodes, Vanessa's, you know, in, in and out, in and out. Uh, but this episode is where really the actress plays Vanessa shines. I really don't have anything bad to say about this episode. Not where I take any points off. I guess, you know, we saw Earn for a little bit. You know, I'm expecting Donald Glover to be in most of the episodes. He's only there for a small part, but I am kind of sad that Paperboy and Darius weren't really shown in the episode whatsoever. Uh, really, near the end of the season, Darius barely gets shown. He's there and he's there, but he's never really, you know, more in the first half of the season, he's in there, and then the second half, he kind of disappears and he's not in there that much. So I'm kind of sad Paperboy and Darius you know, I wish they show up in every 
episode, but I, you know, like I said, it's Vanessa's episode, and it was fine. Overall, I thought it was a great episode. Now, next episode, episode seven, is my favorite episode out of season one, that's for sure. But still, getting, you know, an inside look into Vanessa's life, that was really fun. Uh, her friend being stuck up, and just kind of the real world, and, you know, you kind of want to say, shut the hell up, or, you know, you want to slap someone, but you just keep your inner cool until you lose it, man. You know how the ladies are. I'm going to give Atlanta Season 1, Episode 5, or is this Episode 6? Episode 6, excuse me, an A-. minus. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button. You can comment down below to me what you guys thought about the episode. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What was your favorite part about this episode? Share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more awesome Atlanta reviews. Until next time, bye-bye.